Hello everyone, today we are going to look at another factor that can cause infertility. For some time now, we've been on this infertility series. We've been able to talk about fallopian tube blockage, fibroid, sperm leakage. These are different reproductive problems that can cause infertility. We've also talked about fibroid extensively. If you've not watched any of these videos, I'm going to leave the link to these videos under this video so that you can watch it. But today, in this video, I'm going to talk about another important reproductive health problem that is eating deep into so many marriages today, causing it or making it very difficult for some women to get pregnant. And as a result, infertility becomes the other of the day. And that is called oligospermia. Oligospermia is also known as low sperm count. At this point, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor by hitting the subscribe button right now. Turn on your notification bell so that you will be the number one person to receive notification when I upload new videos so that you don't miss out. All right, like I said before, we are going to discuss on the topic oligospermia or low sperm count. First of all, let us see the overview of what oligospermia is. Oligospermia is also known as low sperm count, like I said earlier. Your sperm count is considered lower than normal if you have fewer than 15 million sperm per millimeter of semen. Low sperm count means that the fluid that is the semen and you ejaculate during orgasm is fewer than the normal. Having a low sperm count decreases your odds that your sperm will fertilize your wife's egg in order to cause pregnancy. Although a lot of men who have low sperm count are still able to further a child. Now let's look at the signs and symptoms of low sperm count, that is symptoms of oligospermia. The main sign of oligospermia is the inability to further a child. Your inability to get your wife pregnant is a sign that you may be having oligospermia. There might be no other sign or symptom to suspect oligospermia. Although in some men, underlying health problems such as inherited chromosomal abnormalities, a hormonal imbalance, dilated testicular veins, or conditions that block the passage of sperm may cause signs and symptoms. Although there are general signs and symptoms of oligospermia, and let's look at them. Low sperm count symptoms or symptoms of oligospermia may include the following. Number one is problems with sexual function. For example, low sex drive or difficulties maintaining an erection, that is erectile dysfunction. In fact, I am going to do a video on erectile dysfunction. That is going to be my next video. I've done an intro or a very short video introducing erectile dysfunction. But in my next video, I'm going to do an extensive and comprehensive video explaining more on erectile dysfunction. But note that erectile dysfunction is a sign that you may be having oligospermia. Another sign of low sperm count is pain or swollen or a lump in the testicle area. Having seen the signs and symptoms of low sperm count or oligospermia, the next question is, when should I see my doctor? Now listen, see your doctor if you see if you have these following signs. See your doctor if you are unable to father a child after a year of a regular unprotected sexual intercourse with your wife. Or better still, see your doctor sooner if you have the following. One, if you have erection or ejaculation problem, see your doctor. If you have low sex drive, see your doctor. I've done a video on how to increase your sex drive, that is how to increase your libido. If you have not watched that video, I'm also going to drop the link to that video under this video so that you can watch it to know how to boost or increase your libido, that's your sex drive. Because low sex drive or low libido is a sign that you may be having oligospermia. A history of testicle prostrate or sexual problems is also a sign or can also give a sign that you may be having oligospermia. Also, see your doctor if you have a groin or testicle or penis or, or scrotum surgery. If you've had any of these surgeries, a groin, a testicle surgery 
penis surgery or scrotum surgery, see your doctor. Now, let's look at the causes of oligospermia or the causes of low sperm count. Before we itemize the causes of low sperm count, note that the production of sperm is a complete process and requires a normal functioning of the testicles as well as the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is in the brain and it is responsible for the production of the hormones that trigger sperm production. Delicate tubes transport them until they mix with semen and are ejaculated out through the penis. Therefore, problems with any of this system can affect the sperm production. Also, there may be problem of abnormal sperm shape, which is known as the morphology of the sperm. Also, the mobility or the movement of the sperm can have also affect the normal functioning of the sperm. However, the causes of low sperm count isn't identified. In most cases, there may be complete absence of sperm in the semen, and this condition is called azospermia. Now, let's look at the medical conditions that can cause low sperm count. Low sperm count can be caused by a number of health issues and medical treatments. Sometimes, it might be related to abnormal testicular temperature change. This condition results into the reduction of the quality of sperm. Another medical cause of oligospermia or low sperm count is infections. Some infection can interfere with sperm production which can cause scarring and block the passage of sperm. Scary tissues cause a lot of blockages. Then, sexually transmitted diseases include gonorrhea and HIV. All these can contribute to reduce the quality and the quantity of your sperm, leading to oligospermia. Although some infections can result into permanent testicular damage, the next medical cause of oligospermia is ejaculation problem, such as retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation occurs when semen enters the bladder during ejaculation instead of emerging or going out through the tip of the penis. There are several health conditions that can cause retrograde ejaculation. These health conditions include diabetes, spinal injury, and of course, surgery of the bladder, prostrate or the urethra. All these can result into retrograde ejaculation, which can in turn cause oligospermia. Another medical condition that can cause oligospermia are antibodies that can attack the sperm. Anti-sperm antibodies are immune system cells that mistakenly identify sperm as as harmful invaders and attempt to destroy them. Another factor is tumor. Tumors are another are other factors that can cause oligospermia. Surgeries, radiations, or chemotherapies to treat tumors can affect the male reproductive system. The next condition is undescended testicles. The next medical condition that can cause oligospermia is hormonal imbalance. Now, there is another condition that can as well cause oligospermia, which is called chromosome defect. Inherited disorders such as Klinefelter syndrome, in which male is born with two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome, instead of one X and one Y chromosome. I've done a video on how to conceive a baby boy now how to conceive a baby girl. And I did an extensive explanation of how these trans chromosomes are made, how this crossing of chromosome from XS and XY are done. So if you've not watched that video, I'm going to also leave the link to that video under this video so that you can watch it to enable you to know how this crossing is done. The male chromosome and the female chromosome are all explained in that video. But today, in this video, we're talking about how this can affect a man to cause infertility or can, can cause oligospermia. So chromosome defects can occur in most men, leading to infertility. Certain medications can also cause oligospermia, such as testosterone, 
replacement therapy. Long-term anabolic steroid use can as well cause that. Long-term anabolic steroid use. Sperm, sperm production or function can as well be affected by prolonged exposure to certain environmental elements, which include industrial chemicals. So you have to be very careful how you expose yourself to certain industrial, certain industrial chemicals. Because this can cause oligospermia. Some, sometimes can even cause azospermia. That is complete absence of sperm in your semen. For those people that work in highly industrialized factories, it is very advisable you, you go for checkup from time to time to ensure that the quantity and the quality of your sperm is intact because prolonged exposure to these chemicals can kill your sperm, can reduce your sperm, can distort, can disturb the proper functioning of the sperm, can even cause erectile dysfunction. Exposure to radiation or x-ray can also cause infertility in male. It can kill sperm. It can reduce sperm. It can reduce the quality and the quantity of sperm when you expose yourself too much to radiation. X-ray. Prolonged exposure to x-ray can cause infertility in male. Infertility caused by low sperm counts can be stressful to both the man and the wife. Let's talk about preventions. How can oligospermia be prevented? How can we prevent low sperm count? Protect your fertility. Avoid, avoid known factors. Known factors that can affect sperm count and quality. For example, avoid smoking. Limit or abstain from alcohol. Stay clear of illicit drugs. Talk to your doctor about medications that can cause low sperm count before taking it. Maintain healthy weight. Avoid heat. Manage stress. Avoid exposure to pesticides, heavy metals, and other industrial elements that are toxic and that can cause low sperm counts.